Well, obviously there has to be uh, some talent. I mean, they have to have uh, something to offer, something that that excites me and interests me. Um, I mean, I guess there's two questions. What do they have to be producible and what do they have for me to want to do that, uh, work with them? Um, yes, yeah, so they, they have to have talent. They have to have something to offer musically that um, is different, unique, uh, and um, hopefully marketable. But, you know, even, even that isn't nearly as important as does it move me personally, uh, I guess, at least for me. Um, it, it often seems like it turns out that if, if you're trying to find somebody who you think is marketable, marketable based on what's already out there, you're kind of missing, missing out because uh, it's the stuff that comes along that kind of breaks the, the mold that's a little unique, that cuts through, that that becomes the trend that everybody else is trying to copy. That's much more interesting than just finding somebody that, hey, they're, they're almost as good as so-and-so and they kind of sound like that. So uh, anyway, so there has to be a uniqueness. Um, they have to be passionate about it. They have to be committed. Uh, it can't be just sort of a hobby. Um, it can, you know, it can be a part-time thing if somebody's struggling financially and they're young and they're, they haven't, you know, they can't afford to just do their music full-time. That's okay. But they have, it has to be the most important thing to them. Um, and they don't have to be, uh, perfect. It, as far as singers or, or even necessarily writers or it just, there has to be a spark there that you can be excited about and you see the potential and, and you feel like, Oh, I know how I can help them get to the next level. Um, and that's at least for me, that's what they have to have. Equipment, uh, knowledge and expertise is something that takes just years of experience, really. Um, and a lot of producers start out as engineers and, and that makes a lot of sense because part of being a producer is knowing how to get a certain sound um, and knowing what combination of equipment will get you that sound. Um, and it really does just take a lot of time and experience. Uh, and so um, for somebody like me who it's more of a musician. Um, I do a lot of technical stuff too, um, especially as being a keyboardist has sort of over the years turned into being a computer programmer and a keyboardist. Uh, I've learned a lot on that side of it, but the old school technique um, with microphones and preamps and, and spaces, acoustic spaces and all that stuff is really um, the domain of uh, engineers, which um, I don't really consider myself that kind of producer. The good thing about it is I can hire people that are so good at that. But um, over the years, obviously working uh, in the studio um, day after day with fantastic engineers, um, I just shut up and watch what they're doing and uh, and just see, oh, they're putting this mic and it's, it's right in front of the speaker or it's a little off the side from the speaker and wow, that sounds different. Um, I mean, it just really comes from doing it, you know, or hanging out with people that have done it for a long time, which um, is invaluable. Um, you've got to get your hands dirty. You've got to, even if you if you can't afford stuff, you, you can rent it. And I mean, you have to sort of play around with it too. Even watching a great engineer do stuff, you, you can only get so far. You have to kind of, kind of do it a little bit yourself too. But, uh, but a lot of the great producers, um, they hire, they have their favorite engineers that they work with, but there's a, a communication between them and, and, a, and a trust and the producer will say, hey, I'm looking for this kind of a sound and the engineer, and, and they'll have an idea of how to get it, but the engineer will help just to steer them uh, into the exact right stuff. Helping um, a talented artist uh, achieve what they're trying to do is a wonderful feeling, and um, and it's it can be really it's a challenge <laughs> it's a challenge to get to that reward, but uh, that's what makes the reward so much sweeter, I think, in a way. Um, 
but 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 for me, I think that that reward is. I mean, obviously, having success and having a hit and all that is a reward unto itself, no question about it. But musically, I, I think for me, it, it's it's all about just that that feeling of listening to something that you helped create and knowing that you know you've really uh, helped this artist get their vision across. You've helped to enhance them in doing what they do. Um, that's that's the biggest reward for me. Uh, and the challenges, gosh, there's there are many and they are great. Every artist is different, um, and so you have to sort of approach them a little differently. Some artists are uh, know exactly what they want, and they're very headstrong. And sometimes they they get in their own way, and you know you have to sort of help them step back a little bit and try stuff that gets them a little out of their comfort zone. Um, other times, an artist does isn't so self-aware and uh, you have to sort of help them discover how to best capture the, the gifts that they have and to achieve the goals they're trying to get to um, and it's a little bit of psychology involved um, and that can be challenging and of course there's other challenges which are not musical in the role of a producer which is dealing with the business side of things uh, and that uh, probably in some ways is the biggest challenge, I think. You know, you're dealing with record labels and uh, people that are business-minded uh, and you're trying to be music-minded and uh, and that can be that can be a definite challenge though. Somebody uh, who's in a position of power with the label or management or whatever will have a, a different idea than, than you have and so you have to go up against them. And, uh, the, the non-musical challenges are probably the hardest ones for me. So, well, typically, um, we'll be recording a song or songs that the artist has already lived with. Maybe they wrote it. Uh, maybe they've done a work tape or a demo of the song. So they already have something going on and and so I would, I would prepare for the session by sort of studying that, getting uh, really familiar with it in a certain way. And this sounds kind of corny, but what, whatever you're working on, you sort of have to fall in love with it a little bit. You have to get to a point where you're excited about it. There's things that you love about it. And then that in turn will get the creative juices flowing. Um, and so I basically, um, will have ideas in my head. I'll think, you know, this would be great. I, I have a plan and it's to use this kind of a drum beat with these kind of sounds. And, you know, you'll have a lot of specific things in your mind that at least you won't, you can be prepared to try. But of course, when you walk into the studio, you also have to be very open to spontaneity and, uh, so it is a bit of a fine line, but I, I wouldn't go into a session without having a plan of my own. I'm also willing to toss it aside if something else uh, happens that's magical. So, um, uh, you know, give a certain amount of direction and, and have a plan and then, and then let things just happen and kind of steer them from there. If they go off the rails a little bit, you can go back to your plan. Um, but typically there's so much talent uh, and you can draw from all the, all the players and of course the artists and everything, they will bring stuff to the party and you sort of field all those, um, contributions and, and really, uh, jump on the, the really good ideas that are happening. And, uh, and then, you know, the things that, that don't work, you just tactfully say, Hey, that's not working. Um, so a certain amount of preparation is key, but you also have to be willing to uh, to kind of uh, let it be what it is to um, and, and I know that's a very vague answer so if you want me to get more specific I can but uh, I mean every artist is different every situation is different every song is different every studio every day so you have to be pretty light on your feet but uh, but always be prepared <laughs> 